This was a pinto and narrowed it and shortened it and they actually took two pinto roofs and raised the roof. So <laughs> little Jim Keeler is really sick. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. definitely. It's yeah. got that Dodge Fever kind of feel to it. Yeah. This is the first model that I built and took to the MPC contest. Which for me, it was in New York City, Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Like Columbus Coliseum, Circle. I'm trying yeah. to think. In New York Coliseum. You went in the Coliseum, and if you had a model car, you got in for free. You went through the mm -hmm. exhibitors. Mm -hmm. You'd open your box, and yeah. then they would go, ooh, ooh, look at that. You know, okay, yeah, you, so you can go. And you went up to the yeah. second floor, and that's where yeah. the NPC booth was. And this was in conjunction in New York. with a full-size car show. Oh, yeah. The International yeah. Show Car Association, yeah. and they had shows about 30 different venues all around the country. Mm. And I went to the Washington, D.C. one uh, mm -hmm. a couple of times. So this one won Best Paint. Spray can, airbrush, a lot air, of masking. Air, airbrush, yeah, yeah, a lot of masking. These little ribbons, mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine and I painted slot car bodies, the clear plastic mm. Lexan slot car bodies. Mm -hmm. You paint them on the inside, you do everything backwards. So if you did this, you would paint the ribbon first and then do the back color. So I learned how to use airbrush from working with him. I was able to do things like this, which at the time were, I'm going to say cutting edge, but it was... It was different. This is about 71 or 2, fourth annual NPC. And I never went the ninth annual. to Omaha. If you yeah. won Best in Show, mm -hmm. all of the Best in Show winners either brought yeah. or sent their models to Omaha for the final. And it would mm -hmm. be the final car show where they would also judge the best show cars in the country. And then they, they judge the models. So I never went. I won Best in Show in New York. Uh, three times. This car here was my first ever contest entry. It was entered in the Dodge NPC car model. This was the biggest contest of 1968. It was a mail-in contest. I won fourth nationwide. But it was a sad story because as it was being photographed, the uh, photographer didn't realize that Look at that little crack right there. Yeah. Didn't realize that the bulbs were heating the body. And so it totally destroyed it. This was the condition. This was actually the second front. I rebuilt it once. This was the second front end I did. But it went in a box in 1969 in this condition. Sat in the box for 50 years. Until this curing. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Until this January when I decided it's finally time to, yeah. to redo it. So I restored it as best you can, considering it was the mini pieces. Sure. I used uh, testers, old testers paint on it, which in retrospect I probably should have used the current stuff. But you know, I was I was trying to make it authentic. Right. So anyway, this is my first ever car on Fourth Nation Light. And that went to the end of the lease. Well, was it? Yeah, I know. Oh, did they? I didn't hear a word about it. I thought they all, you know, that's really cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, this is the last one. This one. April 72 car modeler. I bought it because... There you go, Rick Hanmore, Newburgh, New York. I won Best Paint at the NBC show in New York City. Now, you flip the page, Wayne Saunders. So we were at that show together, but I did not know him at that time. That was his first show. That was my fourth. I've, I've been entering the contest since 68. I was 12 years old, and my goal was to get a trophy. Yeah, that's um, Reisner Sand Dragon. Yeah. It was built for a two-seater. I made it into a chopper. You, you built this pike when you were 12? Well, I was 14 by then, but I had been trying. Because mm -hmm. growing up where I grew up, everybody was playing basketball, baseball, and I was five feet. I knew it was not going to happen for me. I won best paint with this. I went back the next year with this van, and I painted this in a night. These are supposed to be the planets and the, the flames. And then one side, it's... Uh, Mountains and it goes around, changes colors, and it becomes a city, New York City skyline. There, yeah, this is and, so cool. Uh, and it's sprayed with as much clear as you could get on there until I got a, a gloss. And back then, mm -hmm. there was no polishing kit, no sanding, and just you pray, uh, you hope for the best. Sure. So, and this one, best paint. Other MPC cars. Yeah, I was gonna say there's. Yeah, that Pacer pickup, yeah. and it's got an Oldsmobile Tornado drivetrain in, in the back, and a Ford GT40 uh, front frame the front suspension working steering oh that's like from the imc yeah. kit yeah and then the mural on the hood i did the canyon mm -hmm. with the crack and the planets in the background and a lot of people commented on that so i won best in show with that believe it or not this one best in show in new york 78 i think this was best in show this is the last one i i called it 
star truck. We had a trophy there. Originality. Things that won best yeah. originality, like a pack of Marlboros with four wheels on it. Yeah. One guy one year had a, a walnut, a little steering wheel sticking out of the top, a couple with little okay. Hot Wheels wheels on it. <laughs> I think I've seen pictures of that. Well, we used to go to the con to my wife and, and her brother would come with us sometime. We could get into the show for free if you brought a model. And I told him about the best original. I said, pick mm -hmm. something out. Oh, I got a ton of model car parts here. So mm -hmm. In one night, he built this. And just some old parts I had. Steel bottom? And, and yeah. he, go, he sat there and fussed around with it and... Uh, it's like a sea cab Mountain Dew cab. He got into the show, yeah. and he came home with a trophy. And I don't know how I wound up with it. He, yeah, he didn't right. want it. So now, now it has that patina. It you see, <laughs> the, can, <laughs> yeah. the can is starting to <laughs> deteriorate. I don't know what he used to glue it with, but it's 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 still intact. So it's got a moon tank. Yeah, it's got two tanks. One in front, one in back. I was pretty young when MPC was uh, in my area. My dad would drive me to the car show at the Cal Palace in San Francisco and drop me off and I'd go in and enter the mall car contest, hang out at the car show all day, and then he'd pick me up at the end of the night. And I always lost to this little kid. I was always like <laughs> second place and it really pissed me off. And about 10, 15 years ago, I was talking with Roger Lee. I don't know if any of you have seen Roger Lee's hand-built, scratch-built, brass, amazing dragster. And I realized that that kid was Roger Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and Roger Lee and me are the best of buds. He invited me to their yeah. house. You know, yeah. brought the baby, my wife. We've been in touch on and off over the years, yeah. ever since. We used to be, I wouldn't say fierce competitive, but he won one, I win one. The late 70s, we had the East Coast on lock. I had three wow. best in shows, yeah. and then a thing collapsed. We couldn't get to well, the show Boy, we couldn't get to Chuck Helpy. We were chasing them in the MPC yeah. uh, General Food yeah. Mills contest. Yeah. Yeah. And were yeah. any of those car shows, you, got the, you bought the... Uh, the Hot Rod Show World program yeah. for like two bucks, whatever it was. And they always had the centerfold with the model cars. And the model cars always showed the first the top five. The top five. Yeah. And wow. in the, it wasn't until the, the 11th annual, they listed the top 10 winners. Uh, so Tom Woodruff, Bill Merrill, Steve Keith, John McCann, Tim Tyler, Wayne Saunders, and Rick Hanmore. We got our names in here. <laughs> I couldn't believe so, it. So you came in ninth and I came in tenth. So I bow to your superior <laughs> modeling talents. Yeah, we've been uh, another you, year out of the talent. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> nobody out of, was Out of 10,000 entries, I came in ninth, tenth, you came in ninth. So. But we were <laughs> working on Boy. We were working on Boy and Chubb Helpy and those guys. We oh, wanted really? to be in the top five. Real. Yeah, one wow. of our pictures in there, real bad. Yep. But real never, bad. Never happened. Didn't happen. But that's okay. You're so good time. And boy, was a big pusher of me because yeah. great, great sort of like contest. You got to really be good. I'm, I'm like Picasso. You can't figure my stuff out sometimes. <laughs> it's a little rough around the edges. It's not perfect. There's some places mm -hmm. that go to Syracuse, New York. I'm a master. Go to <laughs> Utah. I'm best. Uh, long distance award. <laughs> you know, you gotta like yeah. you take them where how you get them. Yeah. Nobody's the best all everywhere around. So. When boy was pushing for me, when I, I got third place or first place something, but then I got engineering, best engineering, and best talent. But I still have those two plaques somewhere. Salt Lake, the third annual Salt Lake, um, that's best the Brass Monkey, right? Yeah, Brass Monkey. Okay, it's called the Brass Monkey. Brass that's chassis. It. This model, Ford, is called Street Life 57 Ford, and he won the, they called the Klingon Cruiser Award. Yeah. Which is for like, like you hold it outrageous for a year. custom design, you know. And uh, if you look at the model, you, you you can't argue with it. You win it, you hold it for yeah. a year, yeah. and then you send it back. Or you bring, I brought it back in 86, and they had a little nameplate with my name in the year one. Okay. It's passed, passed on. Like so. the Stanley Cup? Yeah, somehow. <laughs> if that's what I'm uh, you got some pictures here with Ed Roth. I'm talking to him. We were in Utah. Rick took the phone yeah. me talking to the man. In 86, it was. 
Now the glue crew you were part of was four guys. That was where I met you. You guys had so much energy. Right. You were building great stuff. They were in a small room. Everyone talks. The models were close together. Yes. It was a good time. Yes. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, we drew 400 cars at our last show. Yeah. And, and the awards and prizes amounted to like $10,000. This is back in 92. Nowadays, you don't see that even happening in today's shows. And we just wanted to do it right. One of my favorite awards was Best of the Age. Yes. And I yes. got a black. It was hand painted by Paul Skoda. Yes. It's yes. my most precious award. And yes. I thank you guys for that. Oh, we were glad it, to. It was just, there were such cool shows. The glue crew was like a shining star. Yeah. And it, it, uh, after four years, or four guys, we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. And we said, it's time to move on. Yeah. And we did. Nobody in my family. I was influenced. Yeah. It's a gifted talent to want to do this. It starts out lonely, but <laughs> thank God as you get older, you meet other people. that are doing it. You don't feel so alone anymore. I had an older sister, yeah. you know, but my childhood friends had older brothers. Yeah, you do. This is how we play baseball. This is how we right. do this. But I wasn't good at it. Let me put it yeah. that way. I always got picked next to last, whatever, and mm. do something, know how I did it. <laughs> I stand with the bat there, and the guy would throw outside the box. You can go to first base. Yippee! I didn't know what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? This, it's okay, because you know? I'm thinking about this model I'm going to build anyway. So and I that's just, how what you're just right. stick me in the outfield, because I'm not going to be paying attention. Guys want to hang out more. No, man. I want to finish something. Yeah. And nobody saw me in November, because the NPC contest was Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Yeah. So you see me every day at the gym playing basketball. After school, BBRs, boys club, yeah. the scouts, you know. My parents yeah. try to keep me, you know, interested sure. off the street. But come November, yo, where you, where you going? <laughs> so, I'm gone, yeah. So that was really key for you? Yeah, once a year. I, I started 1st of November, rushed to build something, and went to the auto show. Got to see the show for free. I didn't know anybody, so then gradually as my talents began to grow, then I wanted to hang out with these guys, you know. Yeah. Hang out for crew. three days, a whole weekend. <laughs> and when they let me behind the rope, because it's always roped off. Yeah. When I finally got to go, yeah, come here, yeah, explain <laughs> this to me. You know, they open up, and you sit there all day long, sitting in a <laughs> chair, my model's there, people stop, oh, wow, this is you? Yeah, you know, the, how you do this? Yeah, and you get to talk, you feel like somebody. See, was, cats you yeah. went to high school with, oh, man, you still doing this? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling Doug, uh -huh. I had the same experience with the, with the NPC contest. I was married and working, so I would only build one or two models a year. Yeah. But I built one for the show. And I would Always. start maybe September and, and... In a couple months? You knew what you had to you, do to finish what you wanted to do. But I, like Rick said, you start in September, yeah. October, because you need the time. And I had chassis done here, engines over there. I was wiring everything up. You know, and hopefully by Friday night you enter, wow. see the show, have a ball, come back Saturday just to hang out. And yeah. Sunday, come back there and hang out and then see when they're giving out the trophies. Yeah. It, was a, it was a full weekend. It didn't cost you a dime. So this is the car that won second nationwide in the 1976 MPC National Customizing Contest. It was a chop custom 49 Merc at a time when nobody was building models of this. So it was a very revolutionary, quite frankly shocking, I think, uh, car for the. But it ended up winning second nationwide. 1976. 1976, yeah. yeah. This was the MPC contest series, ran from 1969 yeah. to 1979. Because even in 1986, people would have been blown away. Uh, possibly. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. 96. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. Maybe. You know, then maybe. at that point, that paint, the color, yeah. the doors. This was all everything. hobby paint, too. There's, this was no automotive lacquers wow. in this. Yeah. Uh, the, the copper scallops were hand painted. Mm -hmm. um, the rust was shaded with like pieces of file card and it was all done with spray paint. I competed in a couple of MPC contests in Minneapolis and St. Paul. They quit holding them there in 75. But then I thought the contest, well, the whole series was dead. I didn't know any better. And then I found a magazine at a drugstore 
<coughs> that had an article on the MTC series and it was still going. So I was flabbergasted <laughs> and I was fired up. So I started building again and I went out to Omaha where I met Chuck, Tim, Tom, and you know, I was just electrified by that whole experience. You know, driving all the way back from Omaha to Minneapolis, my mind was racing, <laughs> dreaming up new projects to build to compete the next year. And of course, my luck, they canceled the series. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame they don't have that, you know. I mean, NNL is good. I yeah. really appreciate that. It's not so much competitive. I never saw anybody get mad because they didn't win. You know, a lot of disappointment, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't taken in anger. You know what I'm saying? Like baseball, or football guys want to fight because you think you did this. I, I, I didn't fight. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you, you know, it was none of that. You know, you took your losses, went home, and tried to do better the yeah. next year. That that was an NPC General Mills contest for me. I've judged contests. Yeah. I've entered contests. <laughs> it makes you work a little harder and try new things so that you know can advance yourself. Well done, spray cans. This was second in the nation in 1978 in the NPC contest series. I built this during my senior year in college, so you can see that I cut out the doors, but I ran out of time to hinge them. You know, so okay, there were a few compromises, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it all worked good. And I knew about the Revell contest, but I was too young for that. Revell, they used to give away a real car, Corvette. Back in the 1960s, we had some major model car contests that were sponsored by Revell. We had Revell testers, Revell Pactra, millions of entries. Rick was a national champion at the age of 15. He won a full-size Chevrolet Corvair Monza, and he was too young to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? Uh, I got older. <laughs> I got a jacket yeah. for the pacer, and I won a motorized pogo stick. There was supposed to yeah. be a Rupp mini bike one year for Best in yeah. Show. Oh, yeah. I won, mm -hmm. and I didn't get the bike. Then some <laughs> yeah. radio station was there, yeah. and they told me all oh, the radio station took the pacer. <laughs> then where's my mini bike? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of too old for one anyway. But I got the oh, jacket. No, but they gave you a pogo stick. But oh yeah. So I, I got one, a, a motorized yeah. pogo stick, which mm -hmm. it's some kind of little piston thing. Yeah. If you jumped on it, this thing fired, and it, it was dangerous. <laughs> I worked for the local newspaper at the time, mm -hmm. and I, I tell my, my boss about it. Yeah. He goes, oh, bring it in. I brought it in, and they, they tried to take a picture of me on it. And it was, I said they had a little thing in the paper, man yeah. wins motorized <laughs> pogo <laughs> stick for building a model car. It was, yeah. He had kids, and his wife had a sewing machine she didn't want. Mm -hmm. My wife wanted a sewing machine, so I traded him the pogo stick for a sewing machine. And that was it, so I don't have that anymore. But I got the jacket, and there it is. <laughs>